Hi, I'm Gary White for Channel 6 Central Kentucky Television. This is our political focus program where we give our viewers the opportunity to get to know some of the people running for local office. And today I have Trey Bradley, who is going to be running for Magistrate in District 5 in Nelson County on the Republican ticket. And he will be on the ballot in May for the primaries. And then the winner of the primaries in May goes on to the general election in November. So, Trey, yes. tell us a little about yourself. Uh, Trey Bradley, uh, born and raised in Bloomfield, Kentucky, uh, on a farm there with my, with my mom and dad. My, my dad's name is John Bradley. My mom's Nancy Simpson Bradley. And so I spent all my life there. My dad was a, a, a worker at Heaven Hill Distillery for 45 years. My mom worked at Owens, Illinois, or Lily Tulip for 40 plus years. Um, I got an older sister named Erica Bradley, who is um, eight years older than me. Uh, but born and raised there. I'm currently married. Um, so Amanda Boone Bradley from New Haven. I got two two kids, Jack who's nine, and uh, Madeline who is five. My wife's a teacher here in the county, um, and I am a a, a full time employee at uh, Valvoline out of Lexington. And so we live in Bloomfield. We actually bought me and my wife bought uh, 15 acres from my mom and dad when they sold their farm, and uh, live there now. Okay. And so you are running for a magistrate for District Five. Tell us uh, District 5, where does that encompass? So District 5 is really North Nelson. So uh, it has um, Bloomfield, the, the, the towns of Bloomfield, Fairfield, Chaplin. Uh, it really runs Murray, Murray's Run Road over to, call it Bloomfield Road, for the north part of the county. Okay. And what made you decide to run for magistrate? Well, you know, um, something I've always wanted to do, uh, number one. But really it's about kind of what's happening today in, in, the, in, in the state and in the county. Uh, really pushed me toward running, and and what I what I mean by that is, uh, the state budgetary uh, issues that are going on right now are going to be pushed down to the county, uh, and you know I'm concerned with how the county decides to address those those issues, um, things like pension reform, which the pension is actually going to cost our county seven hundred fifty thousand dollars next year, and how 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 we decide to to, to deal with that, and I think uh, for me. Um, and it's not just pensions, it's also, you know, the, the proposed new jail, uh, you know, the talk of increasing uh, taxes, uh, uh, so, so forth. So I was concerned that, that I want to do, do my part in, uh, in, in having a voice in that. I believe the constituents and my people up in, in the district uh, are low-tax, um, fiscally conservative people. And I think uh, I, I'm the candidate to be able to, 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 to voice that uh, on, on, on the fiscal court. And what do you consider to be the job of a magistrate? Well, I mean, you know, it's, it's interesting. I, I, I've been out talking to people. Um, uh, part of my talking to them is to educate them on what a magistrate actually does. I mean, you're talking about $24 million budget that really five magistrates and a, and a, a judge executive decides on. So it's a, it's, a big, it's a big role. It's a big responsibility. It's more than just uh, potholes and culverts. Um, so for me, the job of the magistrate is, number one, help balance that Help, help decide on budgetary issues, number one. But really it's about understanding the people and understanding who you're there to work for and who you're there to really um, voice your opinions on. And to me, it's about, it's about giving the will of the people to the fiscal court of Nelson County. So what do you consider to be the main challenges facing Nelson County? At uh, well, I think number one is, is, the, is the, um, the state budgetary concerns, what I mentioned earlier. I mean, that's gonna, that's gonna cause um, us to have some tough decisions in the coming years, starting next year. Uh, and, the, you know, we got two different ways we can look at it. One is, okay, we can get more revenue through taxes uh, and things of that nature. Uh, I'm a believer that the county, Nelson County, pays enough taxes as it is today. Uh, and I'm also a believer that um, county government, or any government, for, any government for that matter, should live within its means. I personally, my own home budget, I live within my means. Um, today in my own work that I work for Valvoline, I have a budget that I have to live within our means for. And I believe the county government should do that also. So to me, that's the number one issue is what happens in the future when the state cuts back on discretionary spending, when the, when the state actually pushes you know, more down to us from the pensions and so forth. And so that's, that's the biggest concern. Um, two, I think, is you know, the, the, the thought around... Um, around the jail, I think is, do we need a new jail? I'm a believer that we don't. Um, uh, I've done a lot of research on it, I've talked to a lot of people, I know that we've had overcrowding issues. Uh, but my concern with the jail is, is that there can be legislation done, we could build a brand new jail, 
We can, we can spend millions of dollars and build a brand new jail, put our taxpayers on the hook for a brand new jail, uh, and then the state can have legislative, um, can vote different legislative stuff in that could actually lessen the number of people that go to that jail. So for specific, specifically, we have roughly 50, 50 state inmates in the jail today. Uh, the state could um, pull those away. And then here we are with a brand new jail and not any inmates in it. And so I think we really have to evaluate, do we need one? Can we, can we get by with the jail we have today? And we really got to watch and see what the state does moving forward. And what would you say are some of your uh, main positive attributes that qualify you for Absolutely. being a district? I think, you know, my, my uh, number one, understanding the community. I mean, I was born and raised there again. Uh, I've lived there. I'm 38 years old. I've lived there for 30 years of my life in that community. I know the farmers there. I know the people there. I know the teachers. Uh, so I think that's number one is I know the people. Uh, but number two is, is my, my, my private uh, or my, my public work that I do today, which is working for Valvoline. I basically run and manage the Southeast United States for Valvoline when it comes to, to motor oil. And I personally manage a budget of one and a half million dollars. I have to make tough decisions. I have to pick and choose how things are spent, how things are done. I got to motivate people. I got to work with different people throughout the country. Uh, and I, I can do that. And so I think um, my, my, my work experience and my, my, me knowing the people of that community are two real positives of why I believe I'm the best person for the job. Okay. And again, I'm talking with Trey Bradley, who is running for magistrate in District 5 on the Republican ticket. He will be on the ballot in May. And then the winner of the primary in May will move on to the general election in November. So as we close, Trey, if you yep. would uh, tell our audience why do you think that they should vote for you for magistrate for District 5? Absolutely. Um, just to reiterate, th thank you, by the way, for having me. I Absolutely. appreciate getting here. I appreciate you giving me the forum to, to talk to the people. I think it's really important that everybody, I mean, voting is a big responsibility and understanding who the candidates are and what they stand for is, is, is big, is key. Mm -hmm. um, why you should vote for Trey Bradley? Um, number one, I know the people of the community. I know the people. I've been born and raised there my entire life. Uh, I believe that I have the background and the work experience to do a good job, specifically on budgetary issues. Uh, I'm, I'm against raising any kind of taxes. I think we pay enough taxes in the community. And I think the people of Nelson County and the people of that district uh, have the same views. Again, it's a Trey Bradley, Magistrate for District 5. This has been Gary White for Political Focus here on Channel 6, Central Kentucky Television.